with the mob. I get paid when I pass a bar, but I got no love for the law. I can't remember when I had a job. Back when they wouldn't build, now they bob. I still got paper tags on my car. Now I got gophers f***ing up my lawn. <laughs> that f*** is annoying. I'm picking my poison. You crabs in a barrel. While my lobster is boiling. I'm trying to avoid them. But they keep on coming for me. DMX, what they wanting for me? BMX, I ain't starting for free. On my mama, my mama deceased. So you know that it's true when I speak. Matador, I ain't running from beef. Mike Tyson asked for my hunger so deep. I replied, ain't no love in the streets. Also, there wasn't no love in my home. So only get love when it's coming from me. Preach. I sin, I sin. I feel like the bucks. I win, I win. Again and again, again and again. Now they telling they friends. I don't know who my friends. They like to pretend. Santa Monica Boulevard. I can't tell the same men. Now from the Lone Star State in Houston, Texas. Nighttime baseball from beautiful Minute Maid Park. It's the home opener of this new season between the Colorado Rockies and the Houston Astros. Stay tuned for Astros baseball next. And now, Rymel Tapia. He'll get us started in this one Leading under the lights. For Colorado, the center fielder. First Rymel pitch on its way from Tapia. Verlander. And that's in there for a strike. Seven o'clock. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. He's got it. Throw not in time, so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. That second, the shortstop, Trevor. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. 2 and 1 the count. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. And prior to the 2 2, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Altuve for one. To Guriel, and they get them both. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. The right field the Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self defense there. It's two and two. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. comes the second baseman Jose Altuve to get things kicked off in the Leading home half of inning number one. The second baseman Jose Altuve. First offering on its way. Line to shortstop and there's one away. So now here is that Alex second. Bregman. The third baseman Alex. First pitch coming, here it is. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Hit on the ground toward the left. McMahon's got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Next, it'll be Batting Carlos first. Correa. That's first cuts time. for him here with the bases Hello. open and two away. Correa. 
Here's the pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. Tapia gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. First offering. And he takes a cold strike one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Ball taken there. Two and one now. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. The third base, number 24, Ryan. Now here's the first offering. Ryan McMahon is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat, that's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Strong makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. He's set, here it comes. CJ Crone comes on with one away as he looks at a ball, it's 1 0. Two balls, no strikes. The count of the Rockies' designated hitter. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count, three and one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That is seven. Runner at first, first with two gone. Yeah. And up next, it's the left-handed power threat, Matt Adams. Verlander pauses. Here's his offering. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. The designated hitter, Jordan. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. A 2 0 oh count to the Astros DH. 2 0 oh to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Pulled toward right center field. Tapia is there and he has it for the first out. Next, it'll be Yuli Guriel. The first baseman, Yuli Here's the first pitch. Guriel. Lifted in the air to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now with the plate is that Kyle is Tucker. The right field. Kyle. First pitch on the way. Tucker. Now a swing and a ground ball. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. That is seven. The catcher. In Martin. now, Martin Maldonado, Maldonado in the air down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. 
all set for the start of the inning, and now digging in will be Sam Hilliard. The left fielder. Now here's the first offering. Sam Hilliard. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. One and one the count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking full count now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And that'll bring in that Garrett nice. Hampson. The second base. Ready to deal. Here comes one. the first pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. The 1 0. He swung on and missed, and that's strike one. Now, before the next pitch, time is called at home plate as he'll step out. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now that next to stand in one is Rymel Tapia. Two outs one already one. on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And he fouls this one off. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Strong gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. And now here is Miles Strong as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The center field. Number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in next, Michael Brantley. The left fielder. And now the first Michael pitch. Brantley. And he gets ahead 0-1. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first half. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Swing and a line drive. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now batting, third baseman, Alex Bregman. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0 1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now before the next pitch, time is called at home plate as he'll step out. Two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. The batter, number one, good stop, Carlos. Here's Carlos Correa Correa. now. Correa. And he puts it on the ground to second, reined in. Throw on to Adams, he'll take care of him, and the inning is over. All 
set for the start of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Trevor Story. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. And it's fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So he records his fifth strikeout there. Trevor Story goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Verlander into his motion. First pitch on the way. Fouled off. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding go. forward, Fourth the designated Astros. hitter, Jordan the Alvarez. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And there's one down now. Ready now is Yuli Gurriel. Flew 10. out in his only at bat so far. Gurriel. Hit high and deep to right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle. To the plate now, Kyle Tucker. Tucker. Fouled away. One for one with a single so far. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Tapia is there. Two gone. Up next, Martin Maldonado. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Misses. Ball two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and set to go is the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Ryan. Back to work now is Verlander as the first pitch of the inning is swung on and missed for strike one. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. So the next to bat will be CJ Crone. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. The 1-1. One, one. Skied into straightaway right. Tucker waits on it. He's got it one away. Here's Matt Adams now. Comes Up into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
Matt. First pitch on its Matt. way from Verlander. High in the air out to center field. Strong is there now and he has it two gone. Two down with a runner at first and now digging in will be Sam Hilliard. Sam. Hilliard. Verlander pauses here comes the pitch. Now a swing and a miss took something off that one and it's strike one. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box so he steps out and asks for time. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Miles Straw. The center fielder, number three. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brentley. 0 for 1 for him here in this Michael. one. Brentley. First pitch on its way. Two runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB on its way. Center field. Tapia's in pursuit. Baseman number two, Allen. And that'll bring up Bregman. the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. So now into the box is Garrett Hampson, Leading struck out one. in his last trip to the, the plate. Number one. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Next to hit, Rymo Tapia. To he flew out in his the last A.B. Rymo Tapia. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Rocky center fielder looking at a 2 and 0 count now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the running play. Two down. In now for Colorado, Trevor Story. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Line drive base hit. So that'll extend the inning and keep it alive for Charlie Blackman. The batter, the right fielder. Here's Charlie, Charlie Blackman now. Blackman. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. He's got to find a way to grab some composure out there and not let this inning get away from him. He was dominating, and now he goes out and gives up a two out single and then almost drills a guy. Get back in the zone. 
Story leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Runners on the move for second, and he fouls this one off. On the move again from first. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. Tucker able to track it down for the third out. Into the box, Carlos Correa. He'll lead it Liga. off as we start the home sixth. That's shortstop. Carlos Correa. Now the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. one. Number 24. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. Yordan. And that'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. He doubled pick. earlier in the game, Yuli one FG. for two to this point. Gurriel to third. McMahon fields it cleanly. Throw on to Adams will take care of him, and the inning is over. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He bounced out last time up. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. On its way is pitch number 75. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Reined in. On to first, and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. And stepping in, Ryan McMahon. Hit by a pitch last time, perhaps looking for a little payback. First pitch of the A-B now. And it's fouled away. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Altuve has it on to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Stepping in once now again that. is C.J. Crone. It flew out last CJ. time up. Verlander sets his sights. Here comes the first pitch. Good change up there to start it out from Verlander. It's strike one. Came inside with the off-speed stuff, and it catches the corner. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. With the traditional seventh inning, correct. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. McMahon is there. One pitch, one out. So stepping in is Martin Maldonado. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Line toward the gap in left center. And a reach here, but this gets past him. And this one could be trouble. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. At the plate, Miles Straw as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. No hits to this point. Hit down the third baseline, but uh, this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball, you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. 
The left field. So a runner at second, two down now. Michael. And Michael Brantley Brantley. settles in to hit at the plate. In the dirt, and no advance. It's ball one. The 1 0. No reason to give in to him here with the base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. 3 and 0 oh now. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Okay. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Adams. The first baseman, Matt Adams. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1. Fouled away. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter will be Sam Hilliard. He was retired via the ground ball last time up, and he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off-speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off-speed. Good swing just a little early, and they'll see another payoff pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Number one. So now to the plate, Garrett Hampson. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. In there at the knees, strike one. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Lifted in the air to center field. Strong is there. Two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Verlander pauses. Here's the pitch. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. of inning number eight set to go and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman Jose Altuve second baseman first pitch on its way good take there to lay off the high fastball swung on and lifted in the air to left center on the run is Tapia he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out Digging in will be Alex Bregman. He homered back in the third Alex. inning in this one. Bregman. And now pitch on the way. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Story ranges back and he has it for route number two. Striding in for Houston. Alex. Carlos Correa. He grounded out last Alex. time up. First pitch Go of the A.B. now. 
And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ballgame, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. And this is popped up near second base. Hampson is there, and they breeze through this half inning. As All set to start the ninth in this one. And in to hit next, the power-hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Story swings, and this ball is hammered to deep left field. Brantley going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. The right field. Now the time is called as both oh, guys in the bullpen what? are ready to go. Jake Odorizzi, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs now in to take over on the mound. Number 17. Jake Odorizzi. Stepping in now, Charlie Blackman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. That one is out of here. This game is tied. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. And up steps Salvador Perez. Popped him up. Correa over to his right. One out. Here's Ryan McMahon now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Still only one out in the inning. Down and away, ball one. And right into the shift. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So that'll bring up CJ Crone. The designated hit. CJ Crone. First offering. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Swing and a soft liner, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jordan Alvarez. The designated hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. Alvarez. Just a tick behind for a strike. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. So now next to bat will be Yuli Gurriel. He Yuri bounced out last time up. Gurriel. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle. Standing in now, Kyle Tucker. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Blackman is under it. Two gone. Stepping up is Martin oh, Maldonado. Game on the line the here, and a ball Martin. deep in the gap would make this place explode. In the dirt here. Oh, 
swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two. Josh Fuentes will be summoned now, now to be the pinch runner. Grade. Number eight, Josh Fuentes. Now it'll be Matt Adams. He'll be the one to start things out as we begin the tenth. Leading off for the Rockies, the first baseman, Matt Adams. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside, like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. And it's one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. That's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Ready with another two strike offering and he misses there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out now back next to dig in Sam Hilliard he's over two in the ball game so far now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Here's the first pitch. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. High in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. None out. Runners at first and second. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. Makes the play one away. Runner not tagging will retreat to second base. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. And low, it's a ball and a strike. The one and one pitch. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? Fielded cleanly. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. Big spot here, and it'll be Primal Tapia. Needs a hit here to bring the go-ahead run home from third with two away. And he takes ball one. Ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2-0, you give this hitter count leverage. He probably tries to ambush a fastball. 1-1 one, one count, he's got to really think through this and have a great game plan. Well hit on the line, and that'll get down into left center field. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate.
the short side. Trouble score. Trevor Story steps in now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Yuli will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. And out of the plate, Miles Straw, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Center fielder, number three. Daniel Bard takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Safe situation here in inning number 10. Jazz McCormick will come on now and pinch Number run here. Abraham Toro is up off the benches. He'll lead off the bottom of the 10th after a disastrous top of the inning. He's set and the pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt, and now let's see. And over to third now is the runner. The one two. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Here's Michael Brantley. Oh, they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. First pitch on its way. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. High in the air down the right field line. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Altuve. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Hilliard is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Kyle Freeland is 